Hey everyone, so we got another great round of phone battles here featuring the best one from Huawei, the Huawei P10 Plus, and the best one from Samsung, the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. Let's get right to it and power them both on. Now the Galaxy is the first phone in the world to release with the Snapdragon 835 processor, uh, and it has 4GB of RAM. Whereas on the Huawei, we have the custom Huawei chipset, 960 and 6GB of RAM. So really rare for a phone to have 6GB of RAM, press there for Huawei. But you guys will see the first one to boot up will be the Galaxy. And now the Huawei up as well. Alright guys, let's take a quick look at design the phones. So front facing camera on the Huawei is 8 megapixels and same with on the Galaxy, both 8. Now in terms of screen size, so obviously larger screen here on the Galaxy. Really gorgeous display, almost edge to edge. And it is 6.2 inches versus on the Huawei where it's 5.5. Now on the Huawei you do have the finger scanner right here on the home button. Unfortunately on the Galaxy, because you do have these incredibly small bezels, it's now on the back. So right here, we'll be doing a test later in the video. Just take a look at the bottom. So you got USB-C and headphone jacks on both. Look at the side. Look at the top. And the other side. And then let's take a look at the back. So again, both gorgeous designs. And on the Galaxy, you have all glass on the back. And on the Huawei, you have metal design on the back. And then on the Galaxy, you have a rear-facing camera, 12 megapixels. And on the Huawei, you have two cameras. Uh, one of them is 12, the other one is 20. All right, guys, so let's get started. And as you see, everything is closed down on both. So first up, we got a game. We got Temple Run 2. So yeah, you notice that the Galaxy screen does get a little bit brighter. And it looks like Galaxy will take this one by a couple seconds. Alright, so... Next up, we got NBC News. And that one going to the Huawei. I funny next Galaxy <laughs> You do Huawei So we got a little bit of a back and forth going here with the calculator next Uh clock Maybe a slight advantage here for the Huawei. Uh, eBay next. Oops, sorry guys, missed that one up. Should we do it real quick? All right, so eBay next. All right, so Galaxy there. And our second game, we got Asphalt 8. Now, I think you are going to see better gaming performance on the Galaxy. Although here, that's interesting. So here, the Huawei is the first one to load up uh, Ash Bolt 8. Alright, we got photos next. I think that was pretty close. Uh, ESPN. So... See if this Galaxy is going to load up an ad here. Maybe not. Doesn't always load up ads. See, I think that one's going to the Galaxy. Alright, and settings. Then moving on to more stuff after that. Try it again. Settings. Alright, guys. So for the app opening, I think it was extremely close to both phones. Let's do and to the benchmark next. So you guys will see Antutu is favoring the Snapdragon 835 here. Uh, for the Galaxy, he scored 168,000 versus 151,000 for the Huawei. And just show you how it stacks up. 
So with the Galaxy, this will be the highest on Android, right, be uh, right behind the iPhones. All right, so next up, let's do some web browsing. Let's do IGN.com first. All right, so you guys see an advantage wall right here. Let's do IMDb. And you have to say, uh, Huawei's web browsing is exceptional. Definitely one of the best ones. All right, so again, you guys saw Huawei there. Let's do Nintendo next. Yeah, I think Huawei P10 Plus and Sony Xperia XZ, I think those two are probably the best two I've seen. Town.com. So again, you guys see Huawei here. And we'll do one final one. Let's do Yahoo. All right, so again, no contest. Oh, actually, sorry guys, butchered that one. Let's do one final one. Let's do, let's do ABC.com. All right, so again, Huawei here. So yeah, guys, web browsing does go to the Huawei. Next up, let's do Fingerprint Scanner. So again, you got the Fingerprint Scanner right here on the Huawei. Much better position, in my opinion. Now on the Galaxy, it is on the back. Uh, very hard to reach, especially for the Plus model. And just personally speaking, guys, I do not use it. I find it much, much harder to actually I mean, if you guys have really large hands or something, maybe it's easier for you guys. But for me, I find it really hard just reaching over the camera lens, trying to get that fingerprint scanner. But nonetheless, it shuts out the speed. All right. I mean, e even just for this test, it's kind of hard just putting my finger there. But try it out. All right, guys, so really no contest here. Huawei, obviously, much faster than it's getting a much better placement. I think the Huawei P10 Plus, along with the OnePlus 3T, are the two fastest phones in terms of thing with scanner. Let's do camera speed next. All right, guys, so the cactus is back, just for focus. And let's see how fast these are taking pictures. Really, it's not the best setup there, but all right, so it looks like the Galaxy a little bit faster taking pictures. So yeah, Galaxy winning here for the camera test. All right, guys, so real quick, let's go over the specs first. So again, 5.5 inch screen for the Huawei versus 6.2 for the Galaxy. Both very similar resolutions, 500, uh, 540 pixels per inch versus 529. Now in terms of camera, so rear facing on the Huawei of two 20 and 12 megapixels on the Galaxy of one at 12 megapixels. Front facing camera on both is 8. Uh, internal storage 64, 120 gigabytes for the Huawei, 64 gigabytes for the Galaxy, both do micro SD card support. Now, battery, I do prefer the Huawei. I think it's a little bit better. You have uh, 3750 capacity versus 3500 for the S8 Plus. Although I haven't used the S8 Plus that much yet, so still need to use, uh, do more. But it will have a battery comparison on my channel in the future. You guys can check out. Um, in terms of chipset, so you got the custom Huawei chipset 960 and 60 of RAM for the Huawei and on the Galaxy Snapdragon 835 and 40 of RAM. Now the Galaxy is waterproof, the Huawei is not and both USB-C at the bottom. Alright guys, so for the multitasking part, going to make it a bit more interesting. What I did was I turned off the screen for both phones and I know for some phones this will sometimes kill the apps. Um, so we're going to see what happens here. And as you guys see here, use the pigment scan on the Huawei, not on the Galaxy. But remember on the Galaxy, you do have facial recognition. You also have iris scanner, which you don't have on the Huawei. All right, so again, this time a bit more tricky because we did turn off the screen. Let's see if it killed the apps. So sorry for dump around too. All right, yeah, so it looks like for both is killing the apps. Um, and that's pretty common, I think, for a lot of phones. But you guys see here, again, we do got the Galaxy. And not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, you know, I mean, that could just mean that they're uh, saving more battery life. So I think for a lot of people, they actually may be okay with that. But let's check out more of the uh, basic apps. All right, so we got NBC News. All right, so advantage there for the Galaxy. All right, iFunny next. 
All right, so advanced here for the galaxy. So, so far, galaxy is winning multitasking. Uh, let's do YouTube next. All right, so Huawei there. And a few more. Let's do eBay. All right, so Galaxy there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a few more multitasking. Uh, we're gonna reopen them uh, a second time without locking the screen. All right, so you guys see here on the Huawei, it is revolting it. On the Galaxy, it's not. So yeah, so far multitasking going to the Galaxy, but let's try going back into some of these apps. Actually, we'll do, we'll do, uh, yeah, actually, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do Temperon 2. All right, so reloading Temperon 2. And I don't think even one of these is going to restart. Let's see, though. So, yeah, as you guys see, both of them just bring it up right there. And let's just do a couple more. Let's do Chrome. All right, so Advantage Galaxy here. And let's do one final one. Let's do Photos. All right, so again, uh, Advantage Galaxy there. So yeah, it looks like, especially if you lock your phone uh, on the Huawei, it is going to kill some of the apps. But again, not necessarily a bad thing, especially if you want to preserve some battery life. Um, but I do give the multitasking to the Galaxy. So guys, overall, I think it was a very close test. Let me know in the comments what you think, which one won. Obviously, guys, these are two excellent phones. Not going to find many phones better than these two. Um, so, yeah, everyone, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more. I do have a lot more comparisons planned for both these phones. And I'm also going to be doing battery life tests between them. I'm going to be doing camera tests. Uh, so, a lot more planned for both. Not just speed tests, but we'll have those as well. All right, guys. So, thanks again. Press there to subscribe. Press there to watch another video. And I'll catch you next time.